Hello again. Today I'm having a look at Timeline. This is a Star Wars version. Uh, Timeline is a little card game. Uh, it's all about chronology and basically putting things in the correct order. Uh, they do quite a lot of these actually. The one that sticks out to me is the Inventions one. I quite like the idea of trying to figure out in what order things were invented in and uh, and so on. Anyway, <laughs> so mine wandered a bit there. Uh, these games are brought in by Asmodee, who I've noticed recent times they've been getting their games into bookshops and occasionally toy shops, but mostly bookshops. Waterstones and WH Smiths usually have some of this stuff. Uh, the game itself, I believe it was £12.99. It comes in this lovely tin. So, let's have a look. What do you get? Well, you get a book. Obviously, nice artwork, and photos from the film and such, and that bit there really is pretty much all you need to know. But it goes into more in-depth dis description through the little leaflet. And the rest of the game is these 110, I think it was, cards, which are really good quality actually, and they've got that nice uh, sort of woven texture so they don't get tatty over time. So on your cards, you've got a scene from the from the films. Uh, this one is I don't know, fly casual. So if we turn that over, it's the same on the other side, except it shows which film. So it's uh, the sixth one, and what number card in the well, what, what number card, and also what number scene in their full sequence. So what you do to play this game is you shuffle up. There's cards there. Each player gets four, so I'll have four here. One, two, three, four. And my opponent who isn't there goes one, two, three, four. And then one card gets turned over. So you know that this is scene 702. And that goes in the centre. Now, you're not allowed to turn your cards over, obviously, because you'd know what order they go in. And on your turn, you have a look at the cards, you have a look at the centre, and you think, well, where in relation to that, the sp uh, speeder bike pursuit on Endor, in this case, where in relation to that are these? So let's have a look. We've got inside the Death Star's belly, the rebels get to the Death Star, Admiral Akbar, it's a trap, uh, Princess Leia in boost disguise, Rescues Han Solo, and I've got Darth Vader Kills the Emperor. Well, I like Star Wars a lot. I can't honestly say my knowledge is great, but I'm going to have a guess. And I'm going to say that this probably happened before the speeder bike chase on Endor. So I'm going to put it there, and that's my go. What we do is we turn that over, and we look at the numbers. And that's the number 732, and that's 702. But I put it to the left of it, saying because I thought it was earlier, and I was wrong. So what happens is that card goes away, gets taken out of the game, I get a new one off a pile, and play goes to the next next player. So they, for example, I'm not even going to bother reading it. They think that that one is going to come before it, so they put it there, and they're correct. 687, obviously, comes before 702. And what was it? It was. The Emperor meets Darth Vader on the Death Star. So there we are. Now, at this point, it comes back to me. They don't have to draw a new card. Because the idea of the game is to get rid of them. Um, you can, of course, play with more than four cards if you choose to. But now I've got more of a choice. Because I can put it before everything that's already out. After everything that's already out. Or I might think that it happens somewhere in the middle. And put it there so let's have a look what have we got what did i just pick up i picked up darth vader kills captain Needer. apology accepted captain Needer. uh i have absolutely no idea where that is i'm going to say that it went before any of this stuff happened so if it's before 687 i'm right and i am right it's 612 so I'm now down to three cards, which is good. And back to my opponent. 
and they play and they can play at any position wherever they like any of their cards if they get it correct that's fine they've spent one of their cards or used one of their cards and if they get it wrong the card they played gets discarded and they draw another one and that really is it uh, look at your cards see where you think they go if you're right great got rid of a card if you're wrong boo lost a card gain a new one and so it goes until somebody has no cards left it really is that simple so thinking of it in <laughs> in those terms as to how much game there is here not a lot however i think with the right group of people or even just two or three of the right people because this does play up to eight apparently it says 15 minute play time i think we're shorter than that usually yeah very good really for what it is it's not groundbreaking particularly but you've got a lot of very nice pictures from the films and it's a way to test your knowledge if you think you're particularly well versed in the way of Star Wars then it's probably a perfect game for you cheap enough 12 99 I think it was as I said and it's welcome to stay in my collection it's only ever going to be a filler it's sort of like a 10 to 15 minute game I probably will get the inventions one and I'm quite interested to see whether or not uh, artwork or Photographs is going to be used in the previous ones. Previous ones, what I mean is the other ones in the in the series. I suppose with inventions, they could like with um, Da Vinci's, they could either show uh, a mock-up, a model, or his sketches, or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> there's not really a great deal to say about that. It comes in a lovely embossed tin. Nice art. I like tins. Very simple to learn, very easy to play. If you're good at Star Wars, if you're good at your Star Wars and your friends are good at Star Wars, then it's a good way to test your knowledge against them. So that's it really. As usual, subscribe and like if you like. I hope you found this video useful or entertaining or whatever. <laughs> and uh, I will see you again soon. Bye bye.